Welcome back to Let's Play Rome Total War Carthage Campaign, episode 160th with B Squawker. And when we left off, we had captured Croton at a long last, and then nothing else really was achieved for that episode. But we did learn that Rhodes had rebelled, so well done, G Egyptians, for being provably stupid. It also means I'm probably not going to bother with Rhodes now. I was only going to bother with it to scorn the Egyptians, but yeah, those rebels. Yeah, they're not, not the strongest rebels in the world, but at the same time, I have better things to do in my time. I don't know. Anyway, what are we up to today? Well, what we are up to is we need to fix what's going on in the southern of Italy. The Brutii are pushing back against us in our relentless campaign to conquer them, and well, Sire! they're pushing back quite efficiently now. So, what we are going to do is we're going to move some armies Forward. into the south. So, we are moving Who's the ca lovely Captain Lord. Hamilcar and Yihawia Manika into the area to try and get the attention of this big old army here. But that's a very big army that I'd rather not have the attention of. So, Forward. I'm going to keep my two armies here relative. I'm going to keep them working in tandem with each other. Orders. Tabnet heard us. We'll have to try and make a stand against Gal Galerius Silani, so the man with a big ear. Because you know what? Since these two armies have separated off, I think it would be a good idea to try and take one in the field. So, first of all, Jubal, could you just I move? Can, Go over there for a few I minutes, obey. right? So, what we're going to do Sire. is we are going to get Tabnet heard us into position, just move like out. so. And we're going to quickly see what else can just be added to the army, just to make sure we win. So what we're dealing with against Cornelius Silanus is we've got the big man himself with his fucking stupid ear. And, um, well, what else does he have? Uh, he's got two losers, two slight less losers. Archer Auxilia. Oh, well, I don't have any elephants, so that doesn't bother me. Uh, he's also got a le two units of legionary cavalry, a unit of mercenary hoplites, quite a few Samnite mercenaries who have just jumped up Triarii. Uh, a unit of Velite Gladiators, oh sorry, three of these uh, Sam Knights. Uh, a unit of Velite Gladiators, one Ballister, a repeating Ballister, about, which could be quite dangerous actually, because that's basically you know, a semi-automatic fucking rifle when used properly. And a unit of Triarii Actuals. Um, his army isn't actually that great, it's probably a slight step above the average Julii army. I think we do have enough troops capable of bringing him down, but I would like to make sure Tarentum's garrison is capable of finishing the job. So we have plenty of Poeni and we have two Sacred Band and we have sufficient artillery. However, I would like to add additional Poeni, additional Libyan spears, and really um, maybe just extra Sacred Band cavalry. And this should be more than enough to bring this guy down. We'll have Yehawian and the other dude try and march on Captain Cornelius. Uh, to try and lure him into a battle because I think Captain Cornelius is straight up after Tarentum at this point. But if we can crack these armies down and probably kill these two actually, we will have finished the Brutii also once we've Ready taken Capua. Sail. Which, you know what, can you just land now and prepare Aye, yourself for your little mission? Uh, we will be Orders. at Capua next turn. Engage Excellent. Blockade Capua for now Ready as well. So, yeah. ships cannot go there. It's looking a bit weird in the area right now. You know, it is pretty much a half and half situation we basically the balance of power is somewhat even but we are working now to make sure we can push the brutii over the edge and basically finish this off once and for all take their home territories and then well we'll be ready to call it a day but first things first what are we doing today well we're going to deal with cornelius Solanius. so men it's going to be a little tough because we're, our numbers may not be the best today. They do have a lot of infantry. But, you know, I have plenty of cavalry. So let's use our maneuverability that we're giving ourselves to maneuver around and give this guy the hurt. Even though there's a lot of these Samnite mercenaries who will be get laying down some counter cavalry hurt. If we try and do some charging and retreating, we may be able to get the drop on them. But at the same time, something tells me that even if they are just a jumped up unit of Triarii... I suspect their morale may not be the best, especially since this commander may also not be the best. So, we may be able to bring him down in that traditional manner. So, yeah, we'll just see how it goes, really. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, cause I mean, also, yeah, they're also not capable of standing up to professional people. I like to think my guys are complete professionals. So, yeah, my professional army, can you professionally kill this dude who I find to be very unprofessional? 
Where did he actually take? Oh, he's going to take us up on the other. So, Cornelius to land. Oh, wait. I forgot he's Brutii. He might actually just run away. Damn it. Because we do outcommand him, but we are outnumbered. Actually, the strike pressure is 4 to 5 in his favor. So. Oh, I didn't put any slingers in the army. Crap. Um, oh, well. We'll fight it anyway. Um, because I still think I can win. I'm going to bring him down with all my artillery. And yes, my chair is especially creaky today. I do apologize. Um, because you know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it uh, with my artillery. Yeah, we'll win. And actually, you know, actually ha him having a higher strength ratio may be advantageous to me anyway. Uh, because if he does have a higher strength ratio, that's going to make this loser less likely to run away. But he might still try and do a runner, but he might stay in battle for a little longer this time. This will be a grim day. All days of battle are grim. But how much worse must the day be for our foes? They face us, the finest soldiers in the world! There is no shame in being scared. But fear should never be your master. Now cheer, you noblest of men, and sound the advance! Okay, men, let's get ready. We find ourselves fighting it on the foot of these two mountains a lot, don't we? We've got to stop our foe from reaching Croton, because he's on his way to reinforce the siege. So, let's get ourselves prepared. Now, I am somewhat wary that the enemy may try to attack us prematurely because of the strength fresh uh, difference so what we are going to do is while this front line may not be the strongest in the world because I should have merged these dudes we are going to uh, curve out our front line just to stem the flow of actually no you two guys can go on the flanks actually uh, just to try and stem the flow of excessive troops because if, if this guy does want to go on the offensive then you know more power to him if he wants to do that but what I'm thinking in my head is, you know, if he wants to do it, we need to make sure we're ready. Because if he's got superior numbers, he's going to do what the Brutal Eye and the Romans usually tend to do, which is try to circumnavigate all my troops and basically completely flood the flanks. Uh, so that's why we've gone for a bit of a, sort of like a anvil, hammerheady formation. So we'll make sure our units are formed up into nice little groups as well. So let's get you guys into your groups got two units of Libyan spears who can also guard the rear. They will just be ad hoc units, so we'll just put them there for now. Artillery, you're here. You'll be doing what you do best. So let's get you all ganged up. And then cavalry, you're going to be the money makers today. It'll be on you to find those opportunities to hammer an anvil, charge in the back, and basically bring the enemy way down. General, you'll be in the core, encouraging and supporting my men. Right. So that's how we're going to play it. We're going to try and hold onto our flanks as well as we can. And um, we're going to use the cavalry to try and bring down the enemy flanks. Uh, but like I've said, just because the enemy may charge forward due to the strength ratio being in their favour and giving them a bit of cockiness, they may just cut, you know, they may just run over. So that's why we've just deployed like this. Haven't put the artillery right at the front. Only thing I regret about this army build, I should have put some sodding missiles in this army, but well, I didn't think ahead, did I? Yeah, maybe yeah, I need to take a break from Roman Total War because I'm making a lot of random errors recently, but well. Oh well. You live, you learn. Let's get ready to do this one. Okay, men. Hit what I was at the front because it looks like they're coming over to say hello. I shouldn't have. Well, I should have expected so. We can try and hit. Whatever we can hit will be fantastic, really. So we are sending off our first few shots. Oh! There we go. Good shot, lads. Good shot, lads. And oh, another great shot, right? Keep these shots coming. Looks like he might be coming to a stop, actually, but he's basically trying to bring his line forward. Oh, oh. I'm seeing some fantastic shots going out here, right? Still, looks like the enemy's coming to a halt. Okay, target whatever's at the front. I think they'll charge forwards anyway in a minute, but oh, you got smashed. Either way, right? You hit here. You hit here. Luckily, there's no urban cohorts in this battle, which actually is probably the... Let's be a bit more careful, man, but which is probably the best thing about this army. We have a mercenary hoplites who may be a bit of an issue at some point in this battle, but for now, I'm not really putting them at the front of my issue of my mind. 
Those guys aren't really the best fighters in the world, like we've seen, because we've used them as well. And also, when they have a big load of their units taken down by me. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be less of a threat now, for definite. By the way, a million points if one of you can kill the general. Uh, I don't know why I keep offering everyone a million points, by the way, but it's a good way of encouraging them. It looks like the Brutii are getting a little impatient now. Uh, it turns out that being smashed to death by my missiles is not a particularly interesting lifestyle choice to them. So they're going to start their assault. Sam Knight Mercenaries vote against my front line. I think that's going to be a clear victory for us, even if they are trying to uh, flank it a little bit. I think we'll, we'll, we'll live. Their morale's already like absolutely sinking, so right. Artillery, keep hitting their front lines. I know what the Brutii are up to. They're just trying to encourage a little bit of pressure, but... I think we'll hold for now, even if, yeah, like, up to you. Mm, I don't like it when that's happening, but look, just keep holding it for now. Keep, oh, oh, my God, I was going to hit him. Still, I mean, look, that, that some of the Triarii are already retreating. Men, keep holding this line. I'm going to start moving some cavalry around the flanks. We're going to start preparing our next stage of attack. So cavalry, begin moving around. I do see that there are some legionary cavalry watching. Once we've broken down the main bulk of the infantry, I'm going to try and get the Libyan spears moving into a position where they can start dealing with that cavalry. For now, try and focus fire on the general. Basically, anything that the Brutii are trying to keep in reserve. I think we may also benefit from trying to fold this line now. So, men, fold the line here. And you two extend the line here. And we might be able to uh, start putting some extra pressure on the Brutii here. Because this is where they're... Getting a bit niggly. Oh, they were waiting for me. Wait, right, men. Form up now. You've got incoming. Get your spears down and get ready. Right, cavalry. Let's start speeding up. Uh, Brutii are getting a bit more committed to this fight now. And, oh, I see where they're going. Oh, wait. No, wait. They didn't quite commit. Right. Artillery. Keep trying to hit the back. And Sacred Band Cavalry, I do apologize. I'm putting you in a risk zone here. But this is for the greater good. Right. Sacred Band Cavalry have now got their clear entry of charge. So they're going to... Go and try and hit them right in the back. For any infantry, be ready. You've got a lot of incoming now. Right, Libyan Spears, I want you up here and helping out around in this area. Guys, stop, turn, first, be ready. Right. Cavalry, you are impacting their morale absolutely beautifully right now. You guys get in there and do what you need to do. Right, cavalry, let's get let's get ourselves into this fight. Right. You lot, pull out for just a few seconds. You guys need to turn first and get ready to help out. These guys aren't going to hold forever now. But Cavalry, try and get yourselves out of there. Just because I don't want you bogged down in the fight. You guys aren't particularly great at holding the line, if you get what I mean. You know, you guys can have a nice little impact. But I don't really find you guys too effective in a prolonged fight. So I'm just trying to... I'm looking out for your interests, really. Ooh. All right, artillery, it's getting a little too hot now. Let's call it a day on you two. Uh, one of them were actually out of ammo anyway, but let's just call it a day for the second with you because I don't want any casualties that are a bit unnecessary now. Here we're Cavalry, you are doing a fantastic job at now. I mean, this is going exactly how I planned it really now. Cavalry is just absolute. I mean, look at all those white flags. And I'm not talking about the Carthaginian ones being amazing. No, I am talking about those lovely running brutal eyes. Artillery, did I not tell you? To oh, right, right. Artillery, really, really, truthfully now, put put a sock in it for now. Okay, up oh, there he goes. Oh, and he just got promoted as well. Right. General, you need to support that unit there. They're not in a good position. You lot as well. Can you go and provide some support? Right. Sacred Band Cavalry. What have we got left? We've got some Light Auxilia left. They can go down. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I see mercenary hoplite. All right. We'll have to find a different way of getting to them. General, you've done a fantastic job there. Sacred Band, where are we up to? Right. So we've got a few guys hanging around here in the fight, right? General, deal with them. Poenis. Whoa, whoa, guys, come on. No, 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 no. Use some common sense now. You're not going to do well against those guys. I don't care how much memorandum you've brought down. You've just gone and got yourselves killed there, haven't you? Right, you two, keep the legionary cavalry busy for a little bit. I'm trying to send some Libyan spearmen your way. Right, Poenis, get in there. Cavalry, keep on the move. I don't want those mercenaries targeting you. Right, what's left? Archer Auxilia, go wipe them out. Right, Sacred Band, try and get in those mercenaries. They're just trying to move around and look for a opportunity to be a pain in the ass, right? Still, looks like the Brutii are pretty much on the run now, so I think we've got these guys wiped out well and true. I mean, they're going to the Listers. It's now just a case of finishing off those mercenary hoplites and those Auxilia. But 
the light, light auxiliary can be dealt with a little later on in this battle. For now, I'd rather make sure we've got a unit in, dealing with those Merc Hop Lights. I don't want a cavalry deal with them because that's just suicide, which unfortunately some of those I have not been able to prevent because I did not notice what they were up to. General, finish off those earlies. Still, this was a good victory here. The Brutii I well and truly got smashed. They thought they could go in, going for the kill. Guys, you can go for those guys now. They've separated away from the Merc Hop lights. They're dead. They are game for kill now. Right, you lot get in there, kill them all. You lot get in there, get on their flank and, and finish the job. You are just now impressing me, my little army. Even if I didn't put any missiles in here, you know what? We've come out at the end of the day. And we have given the Brutii a really, really bloody nose. That's one army down, a couple to go. Kill them all, lads. Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity. I don't like saying no mercy, but to be honest, here we can't afford to be merciful. We need the Brutii wiping out once and for all here. We can't afford to have random little pockets of men giving me trouble now. We need to make sure we're taking these guys down in bulk. So get in there. Finish them off. You never know. Maybe in our next battle, we may be waving goodbye to the Brutii a little earlier than scheduled if their general happens to die. At which point I will find that hilarious. Because then the real fun begins with the attack on Rome. But for now, get yourselves into a position where you are happy men. As in, get yourselves into a position where all the Brutii are dead. Because that's the position where I'm happy, really. Right, who's not who's right, who's not dead yet? This loser here. One unit of our trucks here. Guys, catch up to him. Just break out of formation. Just run in there. Bring him down. And then you can call yourselves a very happy lamb. Or a very happy man, not a lamb. I am messing up my speech on this pop, right? I'm also sending in the general to help out as well. Still, men, be proud of what you've achieved today. I noticed quite a few new chevrons among my units, especially in the Sacred Band Cavalry. You guys really did carry this battle for me today. You are the MVPs of today. Be very proud in what you've achieved for Carthage. For you have helped us to achieve another nail in the coffin of our most hated enemy of all. Oh, they're nearly gone now. Be nice to see the end of a brutal eye at long last. I've had it a long time coming, like we've always said. And guys, can we take him down properly? Come on. It's, it's all well and good trying to herd the guy, but can we just stab the guy and finish him? The enemy lie dead before you. Save for the few with the wit to run away. This is a crushing victory. A crushing victory is what I will definitely accept for this one. The Brutii, well, as you can see, have been completely crushed. They have lost just about everything in this battle and I have lost actually very little I mean yeah apart from some of the sacred band cavalry throwing their lives away um, yeah I mean you can sort of tell from the corpses there's a lot of Brutii and not too many Julii well actually there won't be any Julii uh, not too many Carthaginians so yes I'm very pleased with the way this has gone at the end of the day I mean looking at those stats yeah Good performance by all the men, really. Everyone's putting their odds in. One of the circle back. Oh, wait. One of the Libyan spearmen didn't get any kills, but they didn't really get any action. Uh, one of the Pawnees actually didn't get any kills, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but I am happy to see quite a few promotions being handed out as well. So, not a lot I can say, really. The Battle of Brutium in 136 BC brought me victory. So, um, goodbye, Carlinius Selenius. It was nice looking at your ear for the entirety of about two minutes. Glorious victory! Okay, Tabnit, I would recommend you return to Tarantum or just be near it. Uh, if you're not going to make it in this turn, I'm going to do some merging for yourself as well, just to make sure you are in a position where you can try and stand up to any counter-attacks that may be thrown your way. So, just making sure you are a bit more ready, though. You know what, those can we can get re re retreated, right? Cool, right. Um, yeah, so, right, enemy army routes, by the way. They are gone forever, so that is excellent news. Retinue expands. Uh, Tabnet has acquired a Roman turncoat. I love that, right. So, that's one army down, another to go. Croton, it is unfortunate that you are under siege, but luckily for you, reinforcements are on the way in the form of this merry lot here. Um, so, uh, we're going to dock up here. 
and our army's going to disembark and well we're, we're, we're going to go for it really we're just going to get right in there and we are going to have ourselves a merry old time defeating tertius amelius now this guy does have a lot of artillery which is going to complicate things for our elephants in this battle so we're going to try and keep them away from the heat of things um but i really should point out oh wait can we check on capua yeah i really should point out this person is now the last of the Brutii. He is it. I mean, the Brutii have been through quite a few leaders recently. And now they're left with an inexperienced 22-year-old. Which should be insulting myself, really, since I am 22 and I am not inexperienced. I have over 300 fucking hours on this game now. So, um, what I mean is, he's a noob. Simple as that, really. And, um, yeah. Well, let's face it, the Brutii are basically, effect, uh, you know, they're, they're electing a young, inexperienced man to uh, look after their affairs, and he decided his best move was to go offensive against me. Really, he should have gone defensive and awaited his fate, but if he wants to bring his death forward and the final destruction of his faction forward, I'm only too happy to, uh, to help out. So, Captain Natsfa. A big responsibility lies on your shoulders, as well as with Mr. Juba, Gisco. Fight this battle now. If you kill him, I will be happy. I will be very happy. I will be exceedingly happy. Because I will know that the Brutii will no longer ever haunt me again. If he escapes, I will still be happy. Because then I can take Capua and eliminate them by bleeding out all their territories. Either way, the Brutii are in such a nasty position, whatever I do, they're going to lose. The only way I don't want them to die is for, through assassination, since we already did that to the Skippy Eye. To be honest, I felt that was a bit unsporting of myself. So, I either break their last leader and have Capua surrender to us, or allow him to live and we'll break him another day. Either way, you've got a big responsibility. The balance of power is not going to be even because you will be dealing with a lot of urban cohort today. However, the flexibility and balance of his army does not reflect any, any um, strong tactics on his part. He seems to have like a million onagers, which may make things quite hectic for us. So cavalry, it's going to be on you to keep us, keep our artillery distracted because he's got enough to keep my elephants way out of the battle. Either way, time is of the essence, and this person isn't going to wait around. He could see, he could attack us any turn really with all this artillery. We need to deal with him now. So move in, deal with him, and I will be very happy to see if he dies. In you go. Okay, reinforcements will be controlled by myself, by the way, today. Just because um, two men may get left behind, but overall, since I have just about enough men, I would like to take full control of this battle. And also because of all of the artillery the race, I think I need to be in control today. So, like we've said, it is Captain Atspert and Juba Gisco. We outnumber the enemy by close to a thousand men today. Well, actually, yeah, close to a thousand men, actually. Um... And yeah, really what it is, is it's five onagers, some auxilia, one, two, three, four, five urban cohorts, they're going to be the challenge. Now if that artillery gets down, we could use the elephants to wipe those urban cohorts out quite quickly. He also has some Praetorians among the mix, uh, but however, it's only really one Praetorian and one weakened one. There are also a couple of Elites and Light Auxilia snipping around, but there shouldn't be enough to change the time of the battle in his favour. The General's Bodyguard is also somewhat large, so he may be an issue. But overall, I think this could be his final stand, unless he escapes us. What is that strength ratio like? 6 to 5, right. I wouldn't estimate his staying power is going to be fantastic then. He may try to escape. If he does that... So be it. We'll chase him down another day. For now, fight it 
And if a Brutii happen to get wiped out, then on their head be it. For they made the mistake of attacking me at Croton. Maybe in a way, this was an act of genius for forgetting my army last turn. Maybe I wanted to lure them. Though then again, that would mean not admitting I've made a mistake. And I'm... Look, I made a mistake last turn. End of. Right. Fight it and win. Whatever outcome is achieved that isn't a defeat for me will be a preferable one I will be happy with. A battle's never easy. But then it's not meant to be easy. It is a testing ground for men, for noble men, and even the lowest of us is ready for this test! And as the battle is joined, remember my noble soldiers, they have fear in their hearts, fear of you! Oh yes, the Brutei yeah, will be scared because, let's face it, they are prone to running away, which they may do. So we will see if that is the path they undertake. I could, or could I write? Men, prepare yourselves for battle. Now we must account for my reinforcements potentially being late to the battle today. Uh, where our reinforcements are coming from, they will be approaching from this angle here. So. Hopefully we won't have our men just charging into the enemy lines. And we are attacking from the many farms we have. Elephants, you are at the back today. You will move in on my signal. For now, I can't risk you because of the heavy amount of enemy artillery there is. My own artillery is outnumbered and its effectiveness will be very limited because it will most likely get sniped by the enemy's artillery. Sacred Band Cavalry, I'm going to put you in one large group for now. And then, actually no. Actually yes. One mega group for now, just for ease of control, just because of the sheer volume of enemy men. Slingers, your effectiveness is going to be somewhat hindered today, just because of the uh, sheer amount of armoured units that are present. So, you just be careful. And I'm also going to be a little slow on the offensive today, because let's face it, I don't have a lot of units here. I'm, wait I'm really waiting for that garrison to arrive, who will be my best bet of victory. Um, but... Oh, by the way, Libyans, you want to be here? Our Libyans aren't going to have a lot of fun today. There isn't really anything for them to counter. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that the reinforcements do not get delayed. Otherwise, that's where we're going to be running into an issue. But for now, let us initiate this battle and do what we can. New troops have arrived on the battlefield. Send them to the point of crisis. Okay, artillery, I want you to get into a position to attack. Skirmishers, I want you to also move into an artillery. Skirmishers, you may have to be the fall guy for my army and deal with the, well, with the enemy attack. By the way, you guys are under AI control. Right? They're under AI control. I swear to God, this game just loves changing its mind over what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to control. Right. Change of plans. The enemy, Juba Giscos, decided he's, he's too good for my command and wants to do what he wants. I swear to fucking God, I hit the button to make sure he wasn't under AI control and he just fucking, oh my God. I'm going to have to like fucking triple, double, mega, zipple check that button next time. But I swear to God, I know I really hit that button. And then the game just decides no. Because right now we're getting crippled by artillery. Luckily it's not of the flaming kind. So I'm cool with that. Right. Slingers, I want you to try and move forward and start hitting the enemy. We're going to have to act autonomously with what is effectively a reinforcing army. I'm not particularly optimistic at this point. Because... Well, let's just, you know what, if this is going to be the situation, I'm going to set ourselves one objective now. And that objective is kill the general. Except said the enemy is moving their line back a little bit. This could be an opportunity that we may not want to squander. Oh, we nearly got him. All right, cavalry, can we start moving up, please? Uh, what have we got to say, coming over to say hello, by the way, some oxygen. Right, guys, get a volley in, and then I think, I'm. you know what, I'm going to trust you, because you know what, you are upgraded. That was actually a pretty good volley there. I'm going to trust you to take them on hand to hand. I feel like it might be something you'd be able to do. Especially if we, you know, especially since we sheerly outnumber them. You could probably give them a real good hurting. What do they even do? Do they like kill like many of us somehow through the fucking power of a force, by the way? Alright. You guys, by the way. Just stay here for now. I don't want you getting in trouble with my artillery, right? 
you lot moving to start picking on their light skirms. So I'm trying to just make sure that you guys are the ones getting killed by the artillery, if I'm honest. Just because I want the artillery focusing on something that isn't me. Right, elephants. Let's start snaking around the flanks. We need to find an opportunity to get my men into, into a uh, victory here. And guys, fuck you for rejecting me as your commander. That's all I'm going to say. I swear to God, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not even going to dwell on it anymore. I, I know I hit that button, but the game's going to say I didn't hit that button. And I'm just going to say it, right, well, you know what, bugger it. Right. Not really expecting any kills out. Right, skirmishers, just keep hitting what you can. Uh, one of you guys are about to get smashed by the urban cars. Right, two of you retreat, one of you... Unfortunately, take the fall, but you know what? Because, yeah, they're going to start hitting themselves with their own artillery, actually, so that's going to be a benefit to us. Right, you guys, try and just stay in this battle for a little longer. Just try and stay for as long as you can. I mean, I'm not predicting victory for you here, but just keep zipping around. Oh, God, no, those guys got wiped by the auxilia. Bloody auxilia. That's the one time I've seen them actually get a kill. Right, guys, are you lot, like, turning up to a battle? Are we going to take forever? Because you guys are beginning to get me down. If, you know, if I was in control, we'd be probably engaging right now. But you lot are just really, really taking your sweet time. And I need I need that artillery down. So at least... Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I Oh, wait. That was not enough of a hit, guys. Come on. I want that urban cohort tag. Well, I mean, you, no. Go for the urban cohort. Bring that urban cohort down because... It, oh, oh. Right, kill some of the engineers, but that wasn't really enough for my needs. Right, slingers, reform your lines and get ready. We are getting hit by... The cavalry's getting hit now. Right, cavalry, you may want to speed up to avoid getting killed. Right. Infantry. Um, oh, fuck, he isn't going to even wait around for me to finish off my artillery, by the way. He's going to willingly allow himself to get killed. Fuck's sake. Right, artillery. Call it a day now, because my idiot co-commander wishes to um, walk right in front of you. So, um, you know, you've got to put up with that now. Right, cavalry, we've got control of this flank now. Sit around and start threatening the enemy positions. I need to find an opportunity to get in and take down that enemy artillery. And, oh wait, you guys better not be firing your artillery by way. You know, if you start get committing friendly fire, you know... I'm going to be even more pissed off than I already am with you lot, but no, you're going to use... No, wait, one of them is using fire. Oh, my God. By the way, my guys, make sure you're definitely not firing, but yeah, he's using fire. This can only end well when he accidentally snipes one of my elephants. Speaking of elephants, do you want to start getting yourselves on this flank and getting ready? That artillery is looking lovely and exposed, or at least it's trying to be exposed. Right, cavalry, form up on their back. We're almost ready to make our move. Slingers, you are doing what you can, really. Honestly, there are not a lot of units I can expect. To oh, my God. Where's that circuit band cavalry going? Right. Either way, one of you get in there and give the artillery a good thumping. One of you keep busy whatever they're sending to deal with you, which is just basically their, their leftover units, as you wish. General, begin moving your elephants in. Because I don't even know what my AI commander is thinking there. But what I can tell you he's thinking is... Because he's a fucking twat. Except the en right, enemy's on the run. Right. Snipe that general. If I... You know, because well, you know what? I've had another bad day with my co-commander trying to ruin my day. Get in there and kill him make him die as a coward. Elephants, get in there and flatten this army. He isn't going to run. I knew this coward would try to escape us. What a failed military operation this has been. I was expecting a victory today. Instead, I'm delivered an unsatisfying victory, which, you know, it's still a victory, but you know, I said whatever outcome, I would be happy. But you know what? I've got to be one outcome that I didn't think of, which is the bastard runs away before I could even do anything. I, I knew he was going to run away, but no. Kill him. Allies have lost their leader. Look to your own soldiers for victory now. Whichever retard fired that onager is getting so many fucking lashes on his back, he won't be able to stand up for the rest of his life. And oh, he's running. Kill him. The guards have smiled. The arrogant Roman leader. 
leader is dead and his men fear your wrath. We had to sacrifice Juba for that one. But whoever did that is so fucking dead right. But either way, Brutii, your card has been stamped. Consider yourselves eliminated for good. Wipe out whatever's left of this army. I am no longer interested in looking at their miserable hides. This battle may not be my favourite one in history, but I guess it was a useful one. The enemy finds themselves dead. And the Brutii are no more. They made their last stand. But to be honest, the last battle was, be was a better last stand, because that's where I actually got to fight them. But fine. If they want to die a coward, they have died as cowards. That's what they will always be known as. Let's face it, Brutii, did you even do any of your own conquering? Because you know what I remember when you took over all of Africa? I remember that was Numidia who opened the door for you. It was Numidia who originally tried to conquer me out of Carthage and initiated those rebellions that kicked me out. It was not you who did anything. You just moved in and took over the little bits of broken pieces that were left in the Carthaginian Numidian War. Do not think you could take credit for any of your conquests. Wherever it has gone, there has always been someone helping you. Whenever you faced me in battle, more often than not, you would run away. You would not fight me, you would just run away. Back to your little homeland, sounding that retreat alarm. But now you find yourselves gone once and for all. That is your eulogy. The eulogy for a cowardly faction. Do not make my elephants berserk! Artillery, can you learn some friggin' self-control, please? Because I'm getting very concerned that you're gonna hit one of my elephants. There he goes, right? He's gonna fucking riot now. That elephant is gonna be pissed off. You just throw a great big stone at his leg. You're a fucking mong, you are, right? Elephants, get out of there. Get out of there. Bloody hell. Come on, AI reinforcements. Even if I was to allow you to be AI reinforcements, I wouldn't have expected you to be this thick. My god. Don't tarnish my victory over the Brutii. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running the more you the kill, the happier I am. Still. That other army I was concerned about now will be find itself pinned to the ground. They won't be able to move anymore. So we shall bring them down in due course. But for now, well, only one objective remains. We must take Capua and then prepare for the final assault. It's time to attack Rome and bring that town down once and for all. By the way, I just love the bloody arrow fire coming off these guys. Oh, they are just raining absolute chaos upon the enemy today. I mean, look at that. They're just getting fucking wrecked. Don't! I really, really hate you absolute bell end. Right, let's just not focus on... I should have ended a battle really before my artillery killed all my own men again. Right, elephants, make this a quick finish. Everyone else also make this a quick finish. But you know what? The Brutii are gone once and for all. Rest in... Well, no, I don't wish them a peaceful death. Cowards don't get peaceful deaths. They get a death plague by guilt. Thinking, well, you know what? What would have happened if I hadn't run away? What if I had stood my ground? Because to be honest, if the enemy had stood their ground, I think they actually probably would have won this battle. Since thanks to Captain Ficko and his thick crew over here. But, well... I think for now... I will take my victory. I don't exactly like this victory, but if it means the Brutii are gone, I guess that's a good enough outcome for me. Oh yes, Senate. No allies left now. No one to tell your lies to. No one to fill ears with your poisonous words against me. Now you will accept that I am the dominant power in the Mediterranean, and you are but a failed experiment consigned to the footnotes of history. Prepare for your final judgment. This line of elephants will be knocking on your door very, very soon. But for now, victory. Oh, 
Or at least I get victory when the game says so. Come on, who's left? Victory is yours! And no one can argue that it is not both well deserved. Well deserved, worthy, whatever, lucky more like today, thanks to Juba Gisco and his bloody cavalcade of idiocy, but I still managed to pull in more kills than him at least. Still, Tertius Amelius, who was he? Well, he was an inexperienced fop, we thought, and I guess he learned of his mistakes soon on and tried to retreat, but now, let's have that little notification we've all been waiting for. And watch that territory turn grey as well. You've got no leader now. Unless the Senate parachutes someone in, your time is up. Glorious victory! And there we have it. The Brutii are no more. Honest Carthaginian work once more has eliminated these people and oh what a campaign against those men it has been and now they find themselves being overtaken by something called the gladiator uprising I have no interest in fighting these men Martinez when you form your assault hold them to siege I can wait 10 turns to claim this city Anyway, whatever is left, Captain Cornelius' army has actually now just retreated and they have broken. Without a leader, it looks like these men will no longer be interested in fighting me. I will take that as a very Sire. good solution. Mosh. New lot will reform in Croton and we'll prepare for our final moves on Rome. Because it's the final stage of our plan. Juba allegedly died a heroic death, more like a fucking catastrophically clumsy death. Still... Where do we actually sit on time for this episode now? Hmm. We are close to an hour, probably about 40 minutes in. Um. Hmm. I think, in the spirit of the way this episode has ended and on a cliffhanger we face ourselves on, I am tempted to end this episode. However, I think we will just go through the end of turn admin first and then we shall wrap up with our performance review uh, just because I think these people deserve an entire episode to themselves because that will be a no, most glorious campaign to wipe our final enemy out once and for all so let us make sure every town is doing something useful or ever actually any Egyptians I can distract myself with well, Captain Apres and Nakarunk are in the area. Um, have a fighting them is something I have little interest in. However, I would be happy to take them on a defensive footing, so... I will place my two armies there as an offering, and we shall see how the Egyptians approach this uh, in the future. But for now, I don't exactly particularly want to go offensive against them, because, well, this guy wasn't even going to reach them anyway, so yeah. But a 2v2 is going to be a bit of a difficult one. Okay, so what I am aware of is a man called Tahaka has rocked up over here. So let's have the Egyptians have some minor I patrols and movements in the area. Moving. But what my spy is mainly picking up is the Egyptian grip moving. on this area not is not particularly me. strong. It's pretty lax. So an invasion of Asia Minor is going to be so easy for us to pull off. Uh, in terms of roads, mm, I do. I actually do want roads, even if it is like going to be a bit of an RC army to fight. I mean, I'm not. I mean, it's just really because I think these guys are going to like give me a bit of a, an, an annoying time on the battlefield. I think objectively we'll beat them, but they're just going to be like, ah, do I have to, and all of that. Also, those Balearic slingers do pack a wicked, nasty punch. I will still give them a fight. I would rather take Rhodes. Rhodes is a city I do covet since... Well, does it actually have Phoenician origins? Oh, God, I'm going to have to get my history book out. Either way, Rhodes and Cyprus I covet as mine. So, yes. Because I also want, you know, I am the king of these little Mediterranean islands. It's my little trading empire. And my stepping stones to sit on. So, let's make sure every town's doing something useful now before we wrap up. Kaidonia, what are we up to? Start some walls if you'd like. Um, and then just keep on growing. Uh, Sparta, we're being blockaded. 
Tell them to fuck off, please. Thank you. The sea is yours, great lord. Right. Sparta, you're working on something. Retrain your Queen Kareems and begin working on a secret police headquarters, please. Oh, actually, better yet, don't bother. No, you know, I'll just wait for now. Corinth, you're doing fine as well. Athens, we need to do some more recruitment. So let's start working on additional unit sacred band cavalry, please. Uh, Larissa, you're also fine. Um, I think I'm just going to hold off on recruitment for the minute. Apart from new Queen Kareem, but in terms of troops, I'd rather just wait until you're sorted. Uh, what's blocking us, by the way? A mystery ship. Right, guys, can we, like, great Lord. get out of the friggin' binoculars or something? Make ready for Deal with him. Thank you. The sea is right. yours, don't even great know what Lord. was going on there. Set right. Sail. Retrain, and then, um... Yeah, you know what you're doing. Fear the death, Lord. please. Return to Thessalonica. Make sure we're not yes, arousing suspicion Lord. from the Egyptians that I'm spying on them. Uh, Thessalonica, you're just about ready to make our assault, though. But do work on an execution square just to make sure we've got some interim public order going on. Uh, who's that, by the way? Brennus of Mamukium. Mamusium. Yeah, let him wander around. He's fine for now. Right, um, we're fine over here, by the way, apart from maybe just doing a bit more recruitment. Get a few slingers, please. Um, Apollonia and Fermon Salona, you're all good. Sagestica, you're good. Levavum, let's start working on some sewers, please. Batavium, I've dealt with. Mediolanium, you know, I don't think there's anything for you to build. Sagestica, Sagesta, you can work on an execution square as well if you wish. Uh, obviously, we're not really going to bother with the uh, recruitment here. Uh, get a w one more unit of Circle Band Cavalry in Aretium, please. And Arimium, you're fine as well. You'll be dealt with next time, Rome. We know all about you. We know about your garrisons. We know about your armies. We know about how pathetic some of them are. This will be a fun battle because we can just watch everything die. Uh, what about the other one? Mr. Philotas of Syracuse. It'll be an interesting foe to take down. Anyway, the Senate does not pose the biggest challenge in the world. The, the challenge is that they all hang around in one big group. It would be beneficial for us to try and lure his men out into separate engagements. Um, right. Sagesta and Medial Enemy are fine that we've established. Massilla, I'm gonna I'm gonna peel off whatever you have now and send them over just because we're getting ready for our final assault on the Romans. So if we could start gathering up in Segesta, please, that'd be fantastic. Uh, I mean, I just need you guys really as backups just in case everything was to go horribly wrong, which hopefully will not be the situation, but you know, we must always be prepared. So uh, you work on some long shields, you work on some poenies. And you work on some poenies as well. Nabomatius, you're fine for now. Apart from you could use some construction to do. So work on a Grand Bazaar, please. Lamernum, you're fine. Condit Redonum, can you start working on your militia barracks, please? Oh, those rebels wandered off, by the way. Good, 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 good. Um, you need dealing with, which we can actually do this turn. But that's going to be for the next episode. However, I will move you people in, up into position so I remember to fight you on the next episode. But I am not ending on a bloody rebel battle. You'll be dealt with later. You can be my warm up for next time, since it's actually gonna be a big. It's actually gonna be a big episode of bomb uh, because um, yeah, this is going up on a Monday, and I am happy to say I am on annual leave next week from work. So. It'll be an entire week of Rome Total War, which might actually see the end of this campaign. Um, might not, but actually it could actually. Either way, it'll probably put us on the very edge of the end. So, I think we are definitely going to hit my goal of finishing this by the end of um, the end of May. Because, since I also have another week's of annual leave in June, I would love that week to be where we upload the first few episodes of the next grand campaign I do on this channel, which, as we have established, will be Medieval 2 Total War. So, any particular factions you do want to see, I would recommend you make your recommendations to me, though there will also be a faction poll held at the end of this campaign. Um... Cafe Nerva, could we work on one more unit of Poetis? I'm going to start sending your dudes across. Oscar, I am aware your public order has dropped, but if we switch up to the growth build policy, it looks like we'll just get away with it for now. 
Uh, Numantia. Uh, oh, yay, the pirates are back and they're in my way again, right? Just keep working on some triumes. I want to take that guy down when the balance of power is more in my favor. Uh, begin working on public baths as well, by the way, just to increase the healthiness of the people. Scalabis, fuck off. And Asturica, what's getting you down? Uh, I guess we could do some retraining, I guess. Um, probably also just because the governor's a bit of a dick. Um, but then again, we are, like I said, we are waiting on the... Yeah, just do a bit of more backfilling. But we are mainly just waiting on that um, lovely execution square to be done. Corduba, anything to work on? Uh, you know what, go for that Ludus Magna, because you know what, I'm getting sick of looking at your governor. I don't want your governor going to shit, so... Uh, that Ludus Magna is going to pre prevent him from being a tosser. Uh, right, you lot. We'll deal with the rebels on the next episode. I'm just going to move you out now so then I am aware to do it on the next episode. So there we go. Um, and Tingy, you're fine. Except you can work on some more Sacred Band if you want. Uh, Serta, you can also start working on some Sacred Band. Uh, Carthage, work on some Sacred Band. Why does your population start growing when you recruit? You are so weird. Um, Fapsus, Sacred Band. Uh, Lepsis Magna, mm, Sacred Band. Had to think about that one. Right, cool. So, everyone Mighty is Spirit. happy. Everyone Move is out. moving. Mighty everyone Spirit. has a positive Move outcome out. for their lifetime. And we are now going to call that an episode. Well, not really. We've got a progress review to do. And what progress is there to review? Well, there is a progress in that we are progressively destroying the Romans once and for all. The Bruti are no more. The Julii are no more. All in the space of these last ten episodes. Two in ten episodes. <laughs> that is an achievement. My next achievement is to acquire better respiratory health for myself. But... We now stand at the beginning of the end. The final act of this campaign. The act in which we eliminate Rome once and for all and complete the Punic Wars. We end it once and for all with our final assault. That will be glorious. Let us see what else is going on in our lovely faction today, our lovely empire, our kingdom, whatever you would love to call it. So, let's bring up a summary. So, our capital remains as Carthage as it is rightfully restored, and Chaisiris are handsome, continues to provide leadership to the family. He still remains over here, he rules from Serta, um, but he is still the man with command, the man with a nice face, the man who doesn't really do any battles, but he leads from the background in a way. He is a killer from necessity really, for he prefers killing to be kept to a, uh, a minimum really. Still, he is a nice person with nice intentions, and to be honest, he does his job. I may ignore him a lot, but he does his job for us. I mean, in a way, it is a shame the leader is not the one bringing down Rome, but, well, maybe I could coax him out. But given the time frame, it's probably not going to happen. So for now, fuck it, mate. You're coming, Chai Series. Sod it. Make your way to Carthage. This is an event too great for you to miss. Even if Serta will hurt for a little bit, I want you on that battlefield. You must lead the final charge against our enemies. It is only right. Make your way over and I will deal with you soon. How old are you, by the way? You're not, like, about to die. I know, you're 45. Okay. Uh, pick up a couple of Libyans on your way, by the way. We can always use some skirmishers. Board with Admiral Bodistrum and he will transport you to your army who awaits you at Eretium. He will lead the Eretium army into battle. This means it will take a few turns, but he will only lead the final strike. My other forces will work on bringing down the garrisons of Rome. Right. Anyway, we also now have 96 members in this family, so we have grown quite nicely. Whereas the Bruti, I have zero. Oh dear. And we also now sit on control of 44 regions, with two to be added soon. That leaves us with only four more regions to conquer before victory is officially declared. Those territories I have earmarked for possession are Halicarnassus, Rhodes, Salamis, 
and most importantly seed on. However, it's likely I'm going to take quite a few territories here. So while victory will be triggered early, true victory, in my mind, is not achieved until these guys are brought down. Now, in terms of other things to be worried about, well, not to be worried about, um, our battle win to lose ratio has improved dramatically recently. We now sit on 645 victories to 217 losses. And yes, we have fought close to a thousand battles in this campaign now. How crazy is that? But yeah, obviously a lot of them were naval, but you know, quite a few land battles were among them and I am very happy with where that stands because, well, we are now basically over 400 wins positive, so yay! Obviously 217 losses is pretty bad, but hey, we've had a very long run. Those losses are going to amount up sooner or later. In terms of our finances, while we are looking to make a loss this turn because I have been spending big, overall our financial situation over the previous few turns has been extremely strong, no thanks to uh, all the looting I've been doing of these rich Roman towns. But it seems in general we are now pulling in major amounts of money. This is probably thanks to now my complete and total domination of all trade in the Mediterranean. Um, and now that the Julii and Bruti I no longer have navies to challenge me and the Egyptians don't seem to fight navally, we are basically having a time of extreme prosperity, so we should be in a very strong position now. Um, and since we're going to take control of even more of the seas, um, basically our money can only become greater. In terms of diplomacy, yep, yeah, it's actually getting quite thin out here now. It's getting a bit lonely, um, but yeah, basically we have no friends. The Britannians and Parthians seem very uninterested in an alliance. P perhaps if I offered to fight Scythia, that it would stir their interests, but as far as I can tell, Parthia and Britannia are just busy slugging it out over here. What they do is none of my concern. <coughs> we have a basically a, an effective non-aggression pact with the Britannians. We just continue to trade with them, and that is all we do. We just exist side by side. And Armenia, I don't think we'll ever be seeing them, but they do work for the Egyptians, or at least they used to. Uh, they've actually now become a protector of Scythia. Armenia has just not had a very good run this campaign, have they? I mean, they've done very well to survive for all this time, but they've never really had much independence. I mean, they now just lie in a... I mean, they remain a lie to the Egyptians, so there's still a chance they may come after us. Um, actually, no, wait, oh, wait, fuck, wow. Wow, Armenia is now a twice protectorate. They're now a protectorate of both Egypt and... Wow. Armenia, I feel sorry for you. You just have no independence whatsoever. Right, um, anyway. In terms of lists, here's all our military forces. Many soldiers on the field, all up to useful things. Settlements, many settlements, all running brilliantly, apart from a few idiot settlements that we... Well, we do what we can with them. And agents, well, we've got our spy in Libya watching the Egyptians. Um, and our diplomat who is heading to Cyrene to attempt to purchase it. Deal with that another day, though. You don't have enough money to buy it. Um, in terms of uh, other agents, we've also got Galmakar Aurea currently watching roads for me. We've got Abdushum Lambesis in Capua monitoring that town for me, though, you know what, you can also now head for Rome instead and just monitor them there. Um, we have Milcharim Albera, he's monitoring the Egyptians for me, making sure that, you know, nothing's in on its way to attack me. Ribadi Ilorki is currently in Campania, so he is awaiting further orders now, or at least he is... Where are I? Oh, yeah, you're my dip diplomat. Uh, you could try and maybe bribe away some of these rebels. I mean, we could pop potentially on in the beginning of next turn. Yes, we might be able to lead. bribe Capua into my ruling. So we're going to look into that at the beginning of next episode. Uh, or at least the beginning of the next turn, because we will need to raise the necessary funds for that. But since Mutinus won't be able to do anything, that should be fine. Uh, Fiopapedis Bayaka, he's currently in Ionia, monitoring the Egyptians over there. Um, Mr. Sornites, I've kind of just left to die over here. Um... No one's really bothered about allying with us, so I don't know, I'm just wandering off. Maybe you can just go and make Armenia our new protectorate, just see if they... Since they have no independence whatsoever, maybe they can just rock up with me as well. 
Um, and also Juba the Killer. He's just been happily killing all over the area. Basically, he has done a lot to also bring about the end of Brutti. So his role in this cannot be understated. Um, other things to look at, faction rankings, well, once more, we now sit close to maybe 275 turns in this campaign, and stemming from that, it is like, we, we once more, it has just been all uphill, I mean, yeah, we had our big downhill, we had our big low up here, but as you can see, it's just been all the way up for us now. In terms of all factions, we are actually now top faction overall, Egypt now is at second, uh, the Britannians, they're on a bit of a decline now, and, re and now sitting third. Um, the Brutii have now, well, they've slipped out of existence, really, so they are at fourth, but basically their score's going to crash into the bottom of the sea now. And Armenia now is in number five, because, well, I guess we have to have someone fill up slot number five, and I guess they're slightly on the up, but... They shouldn't really take that into too much account. In terms of neighbouring factions, there's a lot of change, apart from the Julie, well, the Senate being there. In terms of living factions, yeah, they're all just clustering around the bottom, really. So, really, for this campaign, it's a three-horse race, or more of a two-horse race, really, between who is the best person, and it's really me now. And here's our family tree once more. It is huge. We actually now have this button here to scroll it. Uh, we are so many generations deep into our family tree. It is insane. I mean, it all started from Hanno, and now we've got Agiricus the Conqueror as faction heir, though he is now 59, so to be honest, he's probably never going to get the throne. So it's Chai Su, who's a handsome, who is quite a lot younger. Um, is probably not going to be relinquishing the throne for a long time unless he happens to die at Rome. Oh, now he's for cunning, because he's cunningly on his way to cunningly kill the Romans once and for all. Oh, you sneaky sly man. But yeah, we are many generations in. I mean, I think these are the bottom lot, actually. So we are what? <coughs> One, two... No, sorry. We'll be... <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven generations. That is just absolutely insane. Seven generations of Carthaginians... <coughs> conquering the world right still I think that's where we are gonna call it a day now so where are we up to and what's happening the Bruti are no more died like the cowards they are couldn't even give themselves a heroic death <coughs> you know <coughs> well I also find myself dying at a very unheroic death um, well it's the final act kind of Nice why it has to start on episode 161, the final act. It feels like a little fresh start. Rome is our new target. We will bring them down with extreme prejudice. We will bring down everything they hold dear. We will bring that senate down. We will burn the town to the ground. And turn the prophecy of Baal that said Carthage would burn at the hands of Rome on its head. Reverse it. And then, with that prophecy averted, Dido's revenge shall be exacted against the Egyptians and all those who drove us out of Sidon many centuries ago. But for now, that is where I must bid you goodbye, my friends, for this evening. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you all on the next episode, where we will now go on the home stretch. Or at least before we are on the true home stretch. It is time to finish the person who has been pulling the strings of our biggest foes. They've been sat there in comfort for a very long time, but now they know they cannot hide. With the Julii, Scipii, and Brutii now dead, it is time to put the Romans to bed.